No! I'm like emotionally invested now. If I had three wishes, I would wish for more moth memes. Today, you're gonna be reacting to this. What is that? Oh my gosh. Wait, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> These moth lamp memes are my favorite thing that has happened on the internet in a long time. I'd like to solve a puzzle. Don't get it. Mm -mm, I've never heard of these lamp memes. I didn't like them at first, but I have like this newfound appreciation for them and they're actually very fun. Oh, these are the, f <laughs> the moth memes? I feel like I have a strange sense of humor, but I feel like this is definitely stranger than a lot of the memes I've seen recently. Are you sure you want to enter the pleasure room? Yes, brother. F yes, brother. That's, that's how the moth speaks. F yes, brother. And then <laughs> into the room of lamps. Ah, it's lamps! Ah, I don't understand, but I love it so much. What the heck? Okay, is this like a new meme that's going around? Because I've never seen this before. This is so weird. It's obviously the moth loves the lamp type of thing, and they're just going off of that. Okay, cool. Like a moth to a flame. <laughs> Got it. If I were a moth, that would be my jam right there. It's a moth and a lamp. That's it, and then the in-between is what you make up and make creative. Take me to the nearest lamp. Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? They're silly, but it's like, you know, your undeniable passion, the thing you cannot stay away from, like a moth to the flame, as, as it were. I love that uh, it, this one moth is getting credit. Just that one moth pick is all over the place right now. I made ultimate moth meme. Moth meme? Me. <laughs> okay, that's too meta. That's next level. Memes are getting meta and I don't understand what's happening. That one wasn't good. Eh, it's all right. Team Moth, the moth meme. Wow, that's genius. I'm so old. Like whenever I see these trends and I have no idea what they are, it's just like a reality check of how old I am. <laughs> Might as well be on Elders React. I mean, come on. <laughs> Captain, we're heading towards the lighthouse. I know, brother. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. It's got layers. I also like that the moth calls everyone brother. That's hilarious. I love that there's umlauts. After I get past the stupidity of it all, I find humor in the creativity. Anybody outside of my generation, I feel, does not understand this. Fly into something, even if it keeps burning you. Just kill yourself on a lamp. I love that. That's dark. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like if I saw that, I just keep scrolling. So inspirational, M Mr. Moth, so inspirational, like Kaepernick. It'd be better if it was like, cause Nike is just do it, if it was shorter. Just lamp it. I don't know. <laughs> this is why I don't make moth memes. Moths only want one thing, it's disgusting, lamp. That's so stupid. 228,000 people liked her DMing the word lamp. I got the joke now, but it's just like, I'm confused, it's like, why are you finding it funny? At first I was just a little bit confused, but once I started to see what people were doing, it's actually pretty funny. Poor moths, they're so marginalized. I bet their internal world is way more than just a lamp. A lot of these are like old memes too, because like that one was before with like the boyfriend thing, they only want one thing. So it's almost like you could take these old memes and then mix it with these new ones and it makes it even more absurd. Help me up, throw me the lamp. <laughs> That's a good one from Aladdin. That's funny, because it has like, it's a play on words. If I had three wishes, I would wish for more moth memes. Oh? Oh, a video. <laughs> Bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> I like that one, that one was funny. I want to know if somebody found, like, stock footage of a guy running into a lamp, or somebody filmed themselves running into a lamp with the purpose of putting a moth over their face. <laughs> Either way, it's funny. Thomas Edison and Ben Sleipel, moths in 1879. <laughs> Wait, that, that is really good. I bet that is exactly what happened. The moths in 1879 went berserk. See, once you dive deep, then you just, there's, there's no limit. You're such a f***ing lamb. I love it. I love this song. You're so oh my god. Lamb. I love it. Such a f lamp. I love Why do I feel like this is still something Kanye would do though? Such a f lamp. <laughs> I love it. He's like little gangster moths right there. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so funny and just so dumb. It's so dumb. I love lamp. 
<laughs> Do you really love the lamp, or are you just saying it because you saw it? Nice, that's her anchor, man. I love lamp. I love lamp, too. I love lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. That is so, like, how do people think of that? The Anchorman moth, come on, anchor moth? He loves lamp. Uh, I, I I assume if a moth could talk, they would say the same thing. And finally, here's a meme from creator Grande, who we featured a few times before, but kills it every time. Okay. I'm excited. Like, I want you, like. Moth, we cannot be together. This oh. Shoot. Okay, actually, this is kind of dramatic. Why does this remind me of a weird version of Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life? Then what is it? The power is going out. No lamp. I am Donya Moth. No, no! You have to let me go. Oh my god, it's so tragic. No! I'm like emotionally invested now. Do not give up on me, Lamp. You have to let me go. Wow. That was touching. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Brandon, are you, are you, you okay? It's just the greatest love story of our generation. <laughs> it was kind of touching. I also like that there wasn't a single joke in it. It's so deadpan. So it's a compilation of the newest meme, Moth Lamp. <laughs> It's just funny. It's just so weird. So the original photo that is believed to have sparked this meme becoming a trend was posted to Reddit with no context or even really text at all, and it became a meme from there. Okay, what's the picture? Close-up of moth outside my window. I think I've seen this before, actually. Before it was a meme. Oh. It looks super cute. Ugh. It's, it's just weird. I don't like insects. I don't like bugs. Little did you know that you would inspire millions of memes. Everything starts from Reddit. Reddit is like the birthplace of everything. <laughs> this moth is famous. What do you think he's doing now? He got a new new house for his kids and family. He's got to have done something. Overall, I like them. Out of all the, like the bullshit that's on the internet, like this is something that will make me chuckle. Moth and lamp memes is that stupid millennial humor that we've created. And if our parents look at this, they're like, no, that's it. We failed as parents. Like our kids are stupid. What did we do wrong? But but it's just us and it's a new style of comedy. So as we mentioned, this meme really had little to go off of to start a whole trend. It was really just as simple as a moth who loved lamps. <laughs> That's very true. What do you think it is about this whole meme that made it blow up? I think things that go viral are either super incredibly complicated and everyone's like, whoa, look at this thing, how'd they do it? Or they're so easy that anyone can add their two cents. It's something that is just so simple that anybody who has some sort of like humor or anything, they can just make a meme out of it. That's a huge ass moth that they showed and maybe they realized how big that moth is. They're like, oh, you know, that's kind of funny what that person said. Maybe I can make it even better. This person is getting a lot of likes. Maybe I could get a lot of likes. It could just go so many different directions. Like they're they're t making memes from Anchorman and Aladdin, which are not similar at all, but they just have a moth and a lamp. It's versatile in its usage. You can pair it with anything, anything that, you know, where somebody wants something or is attracted to something. It like, kind of hit that perfect balance of like an insane picture, but then everyone's just like taking it with running with it and like moth to a flame is hilarious. Like you can't, you know what? Maybe we're like the moths to the flame of that meme. Well, this meme, like many others, has developed several different angles as the meme evolved, such as the inclusion of the phrase brother into many of these, as well as using German umlauts and other European dictation, and it has even sparked separate memes about beavers and bats. I noticed that. From your perspective, how would you describe the life cycle of a meme? No one knows about it. A few people know about it. Twitter knows about it. Dead. It's like a wave, right? It like comes up, it crests, and then it's like everywhere. Of course, the idea that I haven't seen this, I guess that's the point. It's like older people, it's like a dog whistle. We can't really hear it until like it really, once I once I catch on to it, once it's disnified or I'm onto it, like it's done. Somebody sees a photo or um, a video or something. They come up with a brilliant thing that is so funny. Everyone dies. Then it goes on to like kind of start spreading its little wings moth puns. All these other people jump on board, I think, that are not funny and don't understand like how to make a meme or like what's funny or comedy. And then everyone gets sick of it. And then everyone's like, ugh, moth memes. And they forget how funny it was in the first place. We're all f***ing hipsters when it comes to memes because we want to be on it first. And then as soon as everybody knows about it, then we're not interested anymore. 
But then it does end up kind of going into that archive of memes that's funny to reference again years from now when it's way not even funny anymore. Finally, given that this meme is simply about moths who love lamps, what is something that you love as much as a moth loves a lamp? I mean, it's gonna be a cliche, but it's sort of like a treaty to a chocolate bar. Dark chocolate only. My beanie, dude! Brother, stay on me head! TV. That's, that's like the number one thing that I love. Donuts. I literally can eat a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts like at any point in the day. I love rock camps about as much as moths like lamps. Me amo Roberto. I love Heelys as much as moths love lamps. I got f***ing Heelys, let's go! I just, I wanna go fast. My mom. I don't care if I'm a mama's boy. I I love my mom more than anything in this world. My dog, probably, for sure. Maddie loves taffy. Carbs, yeah, probably like pizza, pasta. I just have to have it. Cheese fries, ugh, don't even get me started. Thanks for watching this fantastic episode of Adults React, and shout out to Easton Anderson and Patrick Roy. If you want to catch the next episode of React, subscribe and hit the bell. Do you love lamps? Let us know in the comments. I love lamps. Bye. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And if you want to check out some FBE merch, you got to check out the link in the description so we can help bring you more episodes just like this one. Lamp.